The market stats for February 2024 came out and in this video we are not going to go through all the data just yet but I'd love to get through these stats in three minutes or less to show you exactly some of the keys that have been going on in the market. I'm Michael Luzes. I'm a realtor here in Toronto. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below on what you think of these stats as we go along in this video. If you ever want to book in a call with me to discuss what's been going on on the ground level here in Toronto real estate, you can book a call in that first link in the description down below. The market stats came out for February 2024 and painted somewhat of a different picture than what we saw in January. As February went along, we saw activity pick up, especially when it comes to free old properties such as your detached and semi rows and towns. In the condo market, we did see activity pick up. And even though there's still a good amount of inventory for condos, that inventory has been absorbed quite significantly from where things were in October. Now, I did mention this video would be three minutes or less. So let's jump into my key takeaways for February 2024. The first key takeaway from February 2024 is that we saw the highest amount of sales in a month since June of 2023. And that was the last time where they started to increase the rate in both June and July of 2023. Things definitely cooled off since. And even in the fall market, we still didn't see that kind of sales activity. The next key takeaway for February 2024 is that new listings were 33% higher than February 2023. Now we are two years from the peak of the markets. It's been quite a difference when it comes to the activity that we saw back in February of 2022. New listings 33% higher, but more sales happening. So the absorption rate is still there when it comes to activity. Next up, we have condos. And if you've been watching this channel, you've noticed that condos have been decreasing in months of inventory since October. Back in October, we were up over six months of inventory and now we're back down to under four, putting us back into a balanced market. Prices still remain sticky when it comes to condos. So even though the price points haven't exactly jumped up significantly, they haven't really dropped that much since the last couple of months. We've been relatively flatlined when it comes to condo pricing. And as we've been going along, we're starting to see more activity, especially when it comes to unique condos, lofts, things like that. The other element of that is that those deals that we saw back in September, October, November are starting to disappear quite fast. Just like I said last month in my three minute market overview. The hottest product in Toronto right now is a semi-detached property. And these are the hottest project, I believe, for two reasons. The first one is that it's a great upsize if you're currently in a condo or a townhouse, or if you're a downsizer looking to go from a bigger house to a smaller house. That seems to be the segment of the market where the price points are generally in and around that 1 million to about 1.5, 1.6 million as we've been increasing through the month. And if they're renovated even beyond that number, but in the main pockets of the city, that still remains a very, very hot and desirable project product. If you check out the months of inventory video I made where to find deals in today's market, you'll hear me say that the two months of inventory is the key when it comes to things like bidding wars. And once we get lower than two months of inventory in a seller's market, that's when we start to see bidding wars increase. If we look at the months of inventory for the detached sector across Toronto, we're at 1.42 months of inventory, semi-detached at 0.8 eight months of inventory and rows and townhouses at 1.54 months of inventory. That's where the freehold market still remains very active, even in a high interest rate environment. And as mentioned earlier, condos are just below four months of inventory. So still quite in a balanced market, but definitely not at six where they were back in October. There you have it. Market update in three minutes or less. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below of what your thoughts are on the February numbers and go ahead, click that like and subscribe button. And we're trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of April. I'm Mike Loses. Thanks for watching.